what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zuff and today we are back with avatar the last airbender book one episode 14 the fortune teller last episode was the blue spirit we saw katara and sokka get sick from the storm ang had to go find some medicine to make them feel better obviously at first he was able to find the medicine but quickly was captured by the fire nation and that is where he came into contact with the blue spirit yeah the blue spirit was zuko i mean what an absolute uh reveal that was kind of crazy that was awesome though i'm glad he i mean he wasn't really doing it to help ang i don't think i think his his intentions was taking ang for himself but he didn't end up helping him and Aang ended up helping Zuko, so that was cool seeing them sort of work together. One of the coolest looking characters for sure was Aang, or was Zuko in the Blue Spirit outfit. That was awesome. But I'm loving the the path Zuko's on right now. It's going, it's trending upwards. I did want to ask one thing. Did you guys, uh, did either of you think that he was Zuko no. like in the episode? I didn't even consider that. I was worried that one of you, like, <laughs> in the last episode, you were like. Can he firebend? Can the blue spirit firebend? And I was like, oh, well, they're, yeah, gonna, yeah. they're gonna get it now. No, but I didn't even put two and two together at all, honestly. Yeah, I mean, this one's called the fortune teller. Obviously, they're gonna talk to a fortune teller, maybe just Aang, but maybe the group. Um, I think that's interesting because I feel like with this world, fortune tellers probably can, there's probably pretty accurate. So I wonder what they're gonna tell the group or Aang about what's gonna happen because obviously he has a big future in front of him. So like if they can see something that's gonna happen, uh, that'll be interesting to hear. I mean, he has a long journey ahead of him, but maybe they'll give us hope. Maybe they'll worry us a little bit because it is very dangerous. I don't know, but I think the fortune teller is gonna be pretty cool. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode. If you have been liking all the Avatar The Last Airbender reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, and our second channel. And yeah, with all that being said, we're gonna get right into this episode. Avatar The Last Airbender, episode 14, The Fortune Teller. Let's do it. Hey, Good. everybody's looking healthy again. The elephant koi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the catfish, actually. Hey, I thought that thing was way are? bigger, honestly. Oh, I didn't think you would need it, Sokka. <laughs> he oh, made it into a bracelet. I made you a necklace, Katara. A necklace. Okay. I thought since you lost your other one. And Zuko stole it. I don't remember her losing her necklace. It was like that one. I remember what it looks like. I don't remember what it happened. When it, it, happened. it was on when they like got on Zuko's ship and Aang was fighting him. Oh, with the water scroll. No, before uh, that. So, how do I look? Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ang POV? You mean all of you or... <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Someone's in love. I... Well, <laughs> stop teasing him, Sokka. Ang's just a good friend. Oh, no. Look at him, he's pissed. No. Thanks. He's got friends and... Big time. Being attacked by a platypus bear. Platypus, platypus bears are scary, bear. bro. I bet, I bet they're. Oh, never mind. That thing is good. swinging on him. That thing doesn't look too. Or that guy doesn't look too faith. See the fortune teller, you think? Whoa there! <laughs> Whoa there! <laughs> oh. 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 Dropped an egg. Yeah, he did. That's dinner. Thanks. But everything was already under control. Master this guy is chill. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. Oh, where's Aunt Wu? That's the fortune teller. You didn't have a safe journey. You were almost killed. But I wasn't. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> have a good one. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily call it safe. If I met any travelers to give them this. He was definitely in danger. What did he give them? Oh, come on. Fortune telling is nonsense. What do you know? An umbrella. Oh, okay. (laughs) 
Whoa. Looks like Gojo. My name is May, and I'm Aunt Wu's assistant. No, no, don't fall for him. <laughs> don't fall for him. So what's your name? Eng. That rhymes with Mang. And you've got some pretty big ears, don't you? Interesting thing to point out. Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. He's going to give me a rare panda lily. I wonder if my true love will give me a rare panda. He's not interested. Mm -hmm. Come up with that. Oh. <laughs> Guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? What? Uh-oh. There was a prediction made. I don't know if his ears are that big, though. I think she's trying to force it. So, what do you think they're talking about back there? Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Aang wants to know. I see a great romance for you. The man you're going to marry. Tell me more. I can see that he's a very powerful bender. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's going to marry Zuko. Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Most of it. <laughs> what? Is she doing it right now? But you didn't read my poems. <laughs> I don't need to. You're just that readable. Wow, that's a big crack. Oh. Uh-oh. That bone is bracket. Whoa. Oh my. Is that a good future? You will be involved in a great battle. An awesome conflict between the forces of good and evil. Sounds about right. Will determine the fate of the whole world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I <laughs> but didn't say anything about a girl. <laughs> Am I going to kiss any girls? I didn't see any. Just a fucking battle to dis determine the fate of the world. Just that. Trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Really? Thank you, Aunt Wu. She lied. He's gonna be single and Zuko's gonna marry Katara. I can already sense and sniff it up. Well, I liked my predictions. Certain things are gonna turn out very well. Oh. <laughs> What's with the sky? We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the clouds to predict the fate of the whole village. Oh my goodness. A fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. Do you even hear what? yourself? What's the correlation there? I can't believe you would trust your lives to that crazy old woman's superstition. Shh, she's coming. Jojo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He looks like he doesn't belong in this show, that guy. <laughs> Uh oh. Twisted nub coming off the end of it. The village will not be destroyed by the volcano this year. Yeah, we yeah. got another year, guys. No volcano. I think it's gonna erupt soon. Something I wanna tell you. I like you, but more than normal. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Yikes, Aang. That was bad. I like you, but more than normal. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? Yeah. She said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. Uh-huh. And how many times have you worn those shoes since you got that fortune? Every day. Then of course it's gonna come. <laughs> I mean, that's good logic. I don't care what Anwu told you. You have to take a bath sometime. Sokka completely doesn't believe in it, and Katara is Sokka, all in on it. You know some stuff about ladies, right? Some stuff? <laughs> Okay, okay. There's this girl. <laughs> I think I know who you mean. You do? And you're okay with it? Of course I am. And to tell you the truth, I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. <laughs> no. You want to keep her interested, you have to act aloof. Like you don't really care one way or the other. Well, okay. Hey, Ang. <laughs> he really doesn't care though. See you later. <laughs> That kid is good. <laughs> One more thing. What is it? Should I eat a mango or a papaya? Don't let it dictate your whole life. Make your own decisions. Hey, Katara. I didn't see you there. Hey, <laughs> That's okay. I'm busy with my own stuff. Aw. He's really turning him down this episode. He's so dialed in on her 
future or whatever. Excuse me, where can a guy find one of those things? <laughs> I can't believe you're dragging me all the way up here for a stupid flower. Not just any flower. A I'm telling you, the volcano is gonna go off, and everyone's gonna think she's a fraud. Well, Aunt Wu hasn't been wrong yet. Why should she be wrong about Lo? You're absolutely just making this process f so much longer by bringing Sokka. Mm-hmm. Uh, was wrong. That thing is boiling. Is that what it looks like? When it's about to erupt? I don't really know what it would look like otherwise, but... Like, cover... You wouldn't be able to see, like, the molten lava, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I just always picture volcanoes with lava in them. <laughs> Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. Sokka, you tried to convince me she was wrong before. It's gonna take an awful lot to change my mind. Volcano eruption. Everyone! That volcano is gonna blow any second! They're gonna be like, no, I don't know. But my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Well, I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. Well, you're gonna get by the lava. Get what? Aft. <laughs> Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> it can. We're taking fate in our own hands. First, I need to borrow Aunt Wu's cloud reading book. He's been reading them wrong. You don't like me, do you? Of course I like you. But not the way I like you. I guess not. It's okay. It's just really hard when you like someone, but they don't think of you that way. He can relate. Facts. The symbol for volcanic doom. They're <laughs> making the the, sh the cloud into a shape so she can read it. They yep. go, shit, it's volcanic doom. They just know that these villagers won't won't believe them. Only believe the fortune teller. Something's happening in the clouds. That's very strange. It shouldn't. <gasps> <laughs> Voldemort? That's the Death Eater Fast, symbol. Fast, fast, fast. Whoa. I didn't even know what you were saying. <laughs> I was just hissing. Like a snake. It sounded like a snake in pain. <laughs> <laughs> he was being hurt. <clears throat> what are they doing? I'm making like a thing for the, the lava to go into. A moat. <laughs> They're gonna be surrounded by lava. That's a good surrounding. It'll harden. Maybe. They need Is that how it works? Yeah. Mm-mm. No, no, no. It's too much! It's gonna overflow! I mean, yeah. A lot of lava there, huh? Volcano? Go ahead, Ang. Lava bend. Reminds me of Pompeii. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Hey -ho. So you can learn firebending. I don't know what firebending would do right now, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude's the goat. Man, sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. <laughs> Airbending master. Just that Aang is one powerful bender. Oh. oh, that was her fortune. I suppose he is. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Take care, Meg. Take care. Hmm. 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 For them, I think she was pretty accurate, I would say, in, in a lot of her readings. But yeah, it just shows that I, th I think the people did rely way too much on what she said. The first example being the guy fighting the bear. He's like, well, she told me I'd be okay, so <laughs> I'll just casually dodge this, this bear. I mean, it worked, so you can think what you want about that. But like Sokka was saying, I, I do agree. I, I agree with him a bit, like how... 
if you wear red shoes, you'll meet your the love of your life. It's like if you wear them every day, you're going to yeah. eventually meet her. But also, you would meet her if you weren't wearing them too. So it's a little bit of like it would work. Like that stuff works for everyone. But you did say Qatar is gonna marry a powerful bender. We know we know a few, but our main main guy Ang is definitely a bit, the, the most powerful bender. So. Could be him. I don't know. He really was crushing this episode, which was nice to see. But Katara was really involved in the fortune telling this episode. I mean, she was as much involved as that as Aang was trying to make a move on her. Holy hell, Aang. You were going nuts this episode. At the end, Katara started realizing, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is Aang. But I still think it's going to be Zuko. Aang is going to end up single. Damn. Yeah. He's got to save the world, man. He has no time for love. Maybe after. I mean, I guess he can grow old and find an old elderly woman. But right now, it's definitely Zuko and Katara. It's one of those things that I've got locked in my mind. So until I see otherwise... I'll be able to change it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously all that stuff went down with Aang and Katara this episode. They were feeling very lovey-dovey. And Sokka was just kind of on the back seat a bit. I feel like sometimes he, he gets real skeptical of the things that they're doing. And this is prime example of him just being an absolute goofball, but it actually paying off in the end. Like if, if he wasn't so skeptical and like hesitant to believe in Aunt Wu, then they probably would have never found out about the volcano. But I, I thought it was pretty funny whenever Sokka was trying to to wingman for, for Aang. I mean, they were just completely talking about two different girls, but I, I appreciated the effort from Sokka. I feel like he was trying to help out Aang the best he could. Don't know how he'd feel if he knew that Aang was talking about his sister, though. That That's for another day. But yeah, still a good episode and uh, excited to keep the journey going. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it for this episode. If you have been liking all the Avatar reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our P.O. Box. Make sure to check all those out. And with all that being said, we will see you guys next time in Book 1, Episode 15 of Avatar. Peace out.